Have you ever wondered how everyday activities transform into extraordinary challenges in microgravity? From the challenge of brushing your teeth as water floats away, to the reason you might skip that can of soda because the bubbles won't burst, life in space presents some unique challenges. Stay with us to discover nine things you can't do in space. Some will definitely surprise you. Going to the bathroom in space? It's a whole different ballgame up there. You see, you can't just use a regular toilet in space. Instead, astronauts go through specific training. There's a special tube for pee and a separate spot for poop. When you're done, you close off the waste in a bag and pop in a new one for the next person. It's pretty cool how doing basic stuff changes in space. Ever wondered how astronauts brush their teeth in space? Do they use Astro Paste? Or is there a galaxy-flavored mouthwash? While there's a YouTube tutorial for that niche audience, you know, the 0.01% of us training for space karaoke night. Let me break it down for you. They stick their toothpaste to a wall so it doesn't float away, squeeze out a drop of water from a pouch to wet their toothbrush, then brush away. In space, water evaporates fast. So to clean the brush, you just need a tiny bit of water and a good wipe. Food and drinks in space? It's not as simple as it is on Earth. Think about bread. When you take a bite, tiny crumbs scatter. But imagine those crumbs floating around, getting into machinery, or even being inhaled. It's essential to avoid that at all costs. No one wants a hazardous situation due to a stray breadcrumb. Since the 1980s, astronauts swapped bread for tortillas. History shows us that humans always adapt. In 1965, astronaut John Young sneakily ate a corned beef sandwich in space, the only time bread was consumed in the whole universe. Now picture your favorite fizzy soda. On Earth, its bubbles rise and pop, but in space, they stay mixed due to the lack of gravity. NASA's expert, Vicky Cloris, highlighted that these bubbles wouldn't separate as we'd expect. So, soda? Not a great choice for space. Additionally, common spices like salt and pepper, if in their solid form, are dangerous. They might end in someone's eye or damage equipment. But of course, NASA's ahead of the game. They innovated liquid versions of these spices to make meals flavorful, yet safe. Here's an interesting historical fact. When humans first went to space, there was a lot to learn about life in microgravity. For instance, did you know that if you cried in space, your tears wouldn't drop? Yep, because of the unique gravity conditions, tears float around the eyes. Astronaut Andrew Fustel had first-hand experience with this when he got something in his eye. Fellow astronaut Chris Hadfield explained that if you cried a river, those tears could just wander off, causing a messy situation. So, if you ever plan a space vacation, perhaps save those tearjerker movies for Earth. Over the decades, space agencies have come up with clever solutions for everyday challenges. Consider haircuts. Imagine stray hairs floating everywhere. To prevent this, there's a special vacuum shaver astronauts use. The same vacuum concept applies when they trim their nails. A floating nail clipping? Not on NASA's watch. And what about hygiene? Everyone knows the importance of washing hands, especially in close quarters. In space, astronauts can't simply turn on a tap. They have to use pouches filled with soapy water. They squirt a little, rub their hands together, and then dry with towels. And showers? Those are different too. Astronauts have to wipe themselves down with damp cloths and then dry using specialized fans. It might sound complicated, but this space hygiene ensures astronauts remain clean and safe from potential health issues. Now that we've touched on that sensitive subject of hygiene, what about sleep? Can you sleep well in space? How do you do it while being in microgravity floating around? Sleeping isn't as straightforward as hopping into a cozy bed and pulling up a blanket. In the early days of space exploration, astronauts used to hang their sleeping bags wherever they could find space. Picture it floating sleep sacks with astronauts tucked inside like little space burritos. Over time, as we learn more about life in space and our technology improved, we evolved our methods. Now on the International Space Station, which has been orbiting Earth since 1998, there are specialized tiny sleep booths where astronauts can catch some Zs. Although astronauts aim for a solid eight-hour sleep like many of us do here on Earth, they often clocked in only around six hours. Maybe it's the excitement of being in space, or the environment, but getting a full night's rest can be challenging. Astronaut Chris Hadfield once said, sleeping in space feels unbelievably good, 
like floating on a cloud. But it's not all dreamy. Here's a fun yet slightly icky fact. In space, the air around you doesn't behave the same way as it does on Earth. If you exhale, your breath won't simply disperse, it hangs around you. So without proper ventilation, an astronaut might wake up gasping for fresh air. Remember, in the enclosed environment of the ISS, everything stays put. So if someone sneezes or even lets out a fart, there's no escaping it. It's going to linger until the air filters take care of it. Makes for some interesting situations, doesn't it? Ever wondered what astronauts do for fun and fitness on the International Space Station? Believe it or not, they are pretty much space fitness enthusiasts. Exercising in the vastness of space isn't merely a pastime, it's a daily routine. They're working out for nearly two and a half hours almost every single day. That's a whopping six times a week. And their workouts? They're nothing like the jogging or gym sessions we have on good old Earth. They have some next level futuristic gear. The space bike. Picture a bike. Now erase that seat from your imagination. Sounds odd, right? But here's the deal. In space, everything floats, including the astronauts. So there's no need to sit. Instead, this floating bike has a unique design with a comfortable pad for your back and some sturdy hand grips. It's like cycling and flying all at once. The Space Treadmill Running in space? Yep, but it's not what you'd expect. Let's say you tried to take a little jump in the space station. Instead of coming back down like on Earth, you'd just float away. So to run or walk, astronauts have this clever treadmill with special belts and straps to keep them grounded. They literally strap themselves in so they can run without floating away. The Strength Machine Forget those traditional dumbbells and weight sets you see at the gym. In space, gravity's not pulling weights down. So astronauts use an innovative machine equipped with canisters that push back against them. This offers resistance, allowing them to do squats, lunges, and upper body exercises. It's all about adapting and improvising. But why all this fuss about working out in space? Well, it's super crucial for their health. Due to the lack of gravity, astronauts can rapidly lose muscle mass and bone density. Imagine being away for months and coming back weak and brittle. That's not good. So these exercises ensure that they remain strong and healthy, ready to walk and move when they touch back down on Earth. Space has some peculiar effects on the body. If you ever saw photos of astronauts during their initial days in space, you might notice their faces look slightly puffier. It's a bit like waking up with morning face swelling, but space style. Without gravity, body fluids move upwards to the head. This effect, known as moon face, doesn't last forever, but it's one of the many quirks of being in space. Speaking of space challenges, did you know women astronauts had their own set of unique experiences and hurdles? Space history is filled with tales of pioneering women breaking barriers, facing difficulties, and proving that space isn't just a man's domain. From Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman in space in 1963, to today's diverse teams on the ISS, Women have made their mark while adapting to space's unique conditions. Let's travel back in time for a moment. In the early 1970s, around 1972 to be precise, there was some chit-chat about serving astronauts a bit of sherry. A post-spacewalk treat, perhaps? However, this idea didn't fly for long. Today, NASA's rules are crystal clear. The ISS is a dry zone. Alcohol is a strict no-go. But what about our Russian friends, the cosmonauts? There's a little gossip going around that they occasionally enjoy some cognac, with the defense that it's medicinal. Who knows? Now, you might wonder why the strict rule about no alcohol. Surprisingly, it's not all about the science. It's more about the culture and politics. Like one expert told the BBC, it's more than just the science behind it. Would you change for the excitement of space? Is the hard stuff worth the amazing sights and cool moments? Let us know in the comments.